Hello guys, I'm Sheldon. Welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, the part A of USR plus DMA STM32 primitive debug, I show you guys how to implement the print function and the print flow function. But how can we receive something via DMA? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it. So let's back to our code here. The first thing to do is to enable the interruption. So this is how you want to do it. Uh, you can type in hall. You aren't enable interruption. So the you are I'm using is you are one. Okay. So another thing to do is to enable DMA. Uh, receive DMA. So you're gonna type in user receive DMA. So the first param is gonna be the you uh, are instance. Uh, so the second one is going to be the buffer. So we're going to define a buffer here. Along with this transfer buffer. So the length of it is 10. Uh, so now we copy and paste it here. And also the size of it. Uh, so the next thing to do is to open up this STM32 blah 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 interruption.c. So you're gonna scroll down and find the UART UART uh, IQR handler. So here is the interruption uh, entry. So what you're gonna do here is to define, first of all, define two params. Two. Uh, tem flag. You're gonna define a flag and also a tem so the first thing to do is to get the flag state to see if the state is ready. So you're gonna get the UART um, here. UART um, get flag. So we're using H U R one, and the next thing is U R. The next thing is which flag you want to get. So we're gonna get the flag idle. All right. So the next thing is to see if the temp flag. So if the temp flag is not reset, we should perform the following operation. So the first thing to do is to clear out the flags. You are clear idle flag. All right. So the param is the instance of the UART. So the next step is to read some register so as to clear it. UART one instance instance so so you should pay attention to so you should pay attention to so you should so you should pay attention here the instance is a pointer so so it has to use this pointy hat thing so uh, point to SR, read the SR. Also, we want to read the DR. Uh, okay, the next step is to stop the DMA. UART actually is UART stop DMA stop actually. So uh, we're gonna copy and paste the instance of the UART here. So we want to calculate the length of the received bytes, okay? 
So the first thing to do is to get the unsend byte. Um, uh, receive the instance is also a pointer and the tr. So the next thing is uh, that before the next step, we should declare two params. The first one should be uh, rx length, which indicates the length of the received data. The second one is gonna be the flag rf uh, rx and black which indicates if the transmission has ended so we're gonna set the flag to one also we're gonna uh, we're gonna calculate the length of the received data uh, this is how you're gonna calculate it uh, 10 minus 10 is the size of the buffer received buffer minus the temp which is the unsent data so this is how you're gonna implement the interruption section so next thing to do is to do something here so the first thing to do is to uh, see if we receive anything so remember that we declared this little n flag which indicates if we receive anything so if it equals to 1, we can know that it received something. Uh, so when we receive anything, we what we're going to do is to declare... Oh, I declared this before. So we declare this little received data, which... Uh, so we're going to pass the first data of the Rx buffer to the received data. Actually, I saw a little bug here. Here should also be Rx buffer. All right, so the next thing to do is to empty the Rx buffer. The first param is gonna be the, R, the Rx buffer. The second is what kind of data you want to empty it with. Uh, the third one is gonna be the size of the received buffer. So, uh, the next thing to do is to set these two params to zero. So, the last thing to do is to enable the receive DMA again. Remember that we've already stopped it, the DMA in the interruption section. So that's so this is everything you need to do. So before this tutorial, I have already set my GBIOPA1 to output mode uh, because it is the little blinky LED on my board. So here's the little demonstration. We're gonna see if the received data equals to A. If so, we're gonna turn the little LED on. Call GPIO. Actually, if you don't remember it, you just scroll it to the GPIO section, and you can see that uh, here there's already a write pin function. So I'm gonna just copy and paste it here. So if it equals to B, I'll set the LET to off. So that's everything you need to know. So so that's it. That's everything. Okay, so let's check the code. Uh, actually, I would like to comment out this section and uh, I would like to print something out here for dramatic effect. So if I enter A, it would say something like Hi this is Sheldon, so I'll be f***ing thrill. Alright, so, uh, also one more thing is wrong. It should be, um, 
U art IT flag. Uh, IT idle. Okay, so everything is gonna be fine here. Uh, let's bring up the STM32Q programmer. So now let's switch it to STM32. So now let's plug the USB into the STM32. And I'll put the STM32 to boot mode and refresh it now. Okay, we see the USB 1. And we download the program. Okay, let's disconnect it. And now let's bring up the little uh, Arduino serial monitor. Let's push the reset button here. And I'll enter A. Okay, so I'll enter B now. So you can, you should see the little LED here will light up. All right. So everything works fine. All right. So this is gonna be the video for today. And if you enjoy and feel like you learned something, please thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.